want to um, derive in this video the fundamental theorem of calculus uh, in the form where um, if capital F prime of x equals little f of x, uh, where prime denotes the derivative, then the integral from a to b of little f of x dx is equal to capital F of b minus capital F of a. Um, this is a result, very important result, which gives a relationship between the derivative of a function and its integral. And it teaches us how to um, integrate functions by finding antiderivatives. Capital F is called the antiderivative of uh, the function little f of x. So in order to derive the fundamental theorem, uh, we will uh, start from the definitions of the derivative and of the integral. So I will quickly define the uh, derivative. Uh, if we um, have our graph of a function, say uh, y equals f of x, and we want to find the derivative of f at some value, which we can call x, we find that derivative by looking at its value at a point which we call x plus h. Um, we draw a line between these two points. I'll use a ruler to draw a straight line. And the slope of that line as h goes to 0 is the derivative. So uh, h, as this point goes to that point, h goes to 0. And the slope and the derivative of f of x is the slope of the line as h goes to 0. So that uh, the definition then is uh, the slope is uh, delta y over delta x is going to be uh, the limit as h goes to 0. Delta y over delta x is f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Okay, So that's the definition of the derivative. Now we define the integral. Okay as another, a different type of uh, limiting process. So we also draw our uh, function, some other function, but we'll call it f again. Um, this is y equals f of x. And we have the beginning and the ending point of our function. So we have uh, a, and we have b, and we want to define the integral as the um, area under the curve, y equals f of x, uh, bounded by x equals a, x equals b, and the x-axis. So that is this area in here. Okay, so we can determine the area by a limiting process consisting of uh, building rectangles. So we uh, match, lock the height of the rectangle to the leftmost point. So 
here is our first rectangle and then our second rectangle will be here and our third rectangle here and we keep going with rectangles until we get to uh, x equals b okay so that the area of all those rectangles of uh, width h will be uh, an approximation to the integral and if we take the limit h goes to zero so that the number of rectangles goes to infinity we will have the definition of the integral so we go ahead and define the integral the integral from um, a to b of f of x dx is defined as the limit h goes to zero of a sum of the area of the rectangles sum from n equals one to capital N of the, um, the height of the rectangles which will be f we're starting at a and then which with each n we're adding h to the position of the height so we start at a and then we're at a plus h and a plus 2h so plus n minus 1 times h so these are the heights and times the width which is h okay so that's called a Riemann sum and that's um, equal to the integral as h goes to 0 uh, what is capital N right so the last point here the last point um, is B minus H right because it's this point right before we get to B so the last point is B minus H so that a plus capital N minus 1 H is supposed to be equal to B minus H and we can solve this for a capital N so minus H cancels minus H and then we get capital N equals B minus A divided by H okay and that's the definition of the integral so we have the uh, definition of the derivative has an H in it right and we have the definition of the uh, integral also has an H in it okay so now we derive the um, fundamental theorem of calculus so how do we do this uh, we start with this integral so we want the integral from a to b little f of x dx right uh, little f is capital F prime is the derivative of capital F so this is a to b capital F prime of x dx okay x in this integral is the dummy variable right so um, now we replace the integration by its definition so we go to our definition of an integral here and uh, replace the integral by the definition so this is the limit as h goes to 0 the sum from n equals 1 to n of now the integrand is the derivative of capital F so it's the derivative of capital F starting at the leftmost point a plus implementing the point by 
h as n goes up times the height by times the width of the rectangle so the height of the rectangle is capital F prime the width is h okay now we go and we use the definition of the derivative right the well-known definition of the derivative and what we do here is we apply the same h since h is going to zero we apply the same h we use in the integral uh, to be the same h we use in the derivative so then this is equal to the limit h goes to zero the sum from n equals one to n and then the derivative of this so the derivative is uh, capital F evaluated at the argument plus H so n minus 1 times H plus H becomes n H so F of a plus n H minus F at the argument a plus n minus 1 H divided by H times H the H cancels so this is the limit as H goes to 0 the sum from n equals 1 to n of F of a plus n H minus F of a plus n minus 1 H okay now we're almost there. This sum uh, has a very interesting property, which you can see if you uh, make a picture. Here's our number line. Here's A. Here's B. This is our X, right? Um, when you do this sum, when you start with N equals 1, you have capital F of a plus h minus capital F of a so you have if I write this symbolically I have a minus contribution from the value x equals a minus F of a and I have a plus contribution at a plus h okay then when n is equal to 2 we have a F plus capital F plus a plus 2h minus capital F of a plus h so we have a minus contribution at a plus h and a plus contribution at a plus 2h and then you keep going so all of these interior points have a plus and minus contribution until you get to the last point so the last point is when little n equals big N and uh, the minus F of a plus big N minus 1 H is at the point B minus H and the F of a plus big N H is at the point B so the point B gets a plus okay so the beauty of this sum is that all of the values of the interior points exactly cancel against each other and the only thing left is the value of capital F of B and that enters with the plus sign and the value of capital F at A and that enters at the minus sign so this all the summation then reduces to capital F of B minus capital F of A right and that proves the result if capital F prime of X is equal to little f of X then the integral from A to B little f of X DX equals capital F of B minus capital F of A the fundamental theorem of calculus